Welcome to my lecture online. Now let's take a look at how we find the derivative of a polar function. For example, if we want to represent a circle using the parametric equations x equals r times a cosine of theta and y equals r times a sine of theta, just like with typical parametric equations, dy dx is defined as dy d theta divided by dx d theta. The theta then becomes the parametric variable. But in this case, we'll use it in the same sense as we do for polar functions. But what we need to do now is we need to find the dy d theta and we need to find the dx d theta. How do we do that? Well, straightforward, we go ahead and try to find the derivative of each of these. So first of all, we want to find dy d theta. So we take the function y and we say dy d theta is equal to now we're going to take the derivative of the right side of this equation, but notice there are now two variables. There's the variable r and the variable theta, and we're doing it with respect to theta. So since we have two different variables here, we need to use the product rule. It's r times the sine of theta. So we take the first, which is r, times the derivative of the sine of theta with respect to theta, which would be the cosine of theta, plus the second, which is the sine of theta, times the derivative of the first with respect to theta, which would be dr d theta. Then we do the same for the denominator dx d theta. We take the function x equal r cosine theta, and we take the derivative of the right side with respect to theta. Again, there's two variables, r and theta, so we have the product rule. So we can write that dx d theta is equal to the first, which is r, times the derivative of the second. Now the derivative of the cosine is the negative sine, so minus the sine of theta plus the second, which is the cosine of theta, times the derivative of the first, which is dr d theta. And then if we want to find dy dx, we take the numerator divided by the denominator, so in this case we take r, times the cosine of theta plus the sine of theta times dr d theta and we divide the whole thing by minus r times the sine of theta plus the cosine of theta times dr d theta. And this then becomes the derivative of y with respect to x in polar, in polar coordinates. So that's how we approach that. We'll see some more examples of that in the future, but at least now you know how to go about finding the derivative in polar functions when they are defined in terms of r and theta. And that's how it's done.